Chloe Burrows has revealed how she thinks next week's Love Island final will go down and called for the cash prize on the ITV2 show to be increased. The Love Island legend, 26, is backing Ekin Su Kulkulaglu and David Sanclamenti to be ground the winners of this year's series, but predicts both stars will try to steal the £50,000 cash prize. Chloe, who is still loved up with her Series 7 co-star Tobia Romalaren, also revealed she would have headed home early had she been in the Spanish villa this year, as none of the current crop of boys impress her. The reality TV star has pondered why a strong bond between the girls hasn't been forged throughout this year's offering, and explained how the producers never make you out to be someone that you're not amid the backlash towards the male contestants. Read more Ekin Su and David have to win, I swear to God because one of them is going to steal it, Chloe laughed when speaking to us about all things Love Island on Thursday. They'll both steal and be left with no money like golden balls. But I feel they have to win, I really want them to win. Speaking from Menorca, where she has teamed up with O2 to open Swim for Sims, the world's first swim-up mobile phone shop, Chloe admits although she would have split had she and Toby won last year, a bigger prize fund may have swayed her to steal. I feel like if the prize money went up, it's season 8 now, I feel like it should go up a bit then someone might consider stealing it, the reality TV star mused. It's been 50k since season 1 so I feel if maybe they do 100k that might make a difference. After we discussed the rising cost of living, Chloe jokingly added, Honestly, have you seen how much petrol is? It'd steal it for 100k. This year's series of Love Island has seen viewers slam several of the boys for their treatment towards their female housemates with Luca Bish's family forced to hit back after the fishmonger from Brighton was accused of bullying co-star Tasha Gori. While many ITV2 viewers have been quick to criticize Luca, alongside Dami Hope and Jacques O'Neill, many have pointed out we're only seeing an edited version of their time in the Spanish villa. I think it's the case of both because yeah we only see, minutes of each person, per episode, however producers don't make you out to be something you're not, Chloe explains when discussing this year's boys. So I wouldn't say it's inaccurate but we're obviously not seeing all the good bits and highlights of someone. At the end of the day. The producers have to make their storylines and if there is a villain at the time, they're obviously going to with that but they've never, ever going to make you out to be someone that you're not so I don't know. Chloe went on to reveal there would be absolutely no way she would have coupled up with any of this year's male islanders, and confessed she would have probably bickered with most of them. In other series the girl group was so strong, she added when chatting about the boys' treatment of the girls. I wasn't even that close to any of the girls but I know for a fact as soon as I was annoyed the girls would kind of validate that and I would have enough ammunition to shout at the boys, but I feel like that's missing this year. The boys are getting away with much more this year, 100%, she added. Reflecting on her own time on the show, Chloe continued, people love to hate, there is a bit of a hate train, but in the same way I don't think they are making it up out of thin air if that makes sense. When I first went everyone hated me but that changed by the end. Chloe reached the final of last year's alongside Toby, coming runners-up behind winning couple Millie Court and Liam Reardon, who recently announced their breakup after almost a year together. Amid her partnership with O2, who have become the only major network provider to not bring back EU roaming fees abroad, Chloe is already planning her next holiday, after her recent trip to Ibiza with Millie was marred by illness. 
The blonde beauty is planning a trip abroad with Toby to celebrate their anniversary next month, but lavish holidays and fancy nights out aren't the key to their successful relationship. We don't really do dinners and that, we love a day when we can sit up in bed and watch Netflix until the evening, Chloe revealed when explaining how she and Toby kept the romance going away from the villa. There's nothing better than staying in bed all day and having takeaway so we love doing that as much as possible. I feel people would probably say we're quite lazy because we do it all the time. She continued, to be honest, I think me and Toby are really lucky because we're absolute best friends and have that friendship, so even when we argue we manage to make each other laugh so I think it's us, we don't just fancy each other were really good friends. The couple's coming out now hopefully they've got the foundations of being friends first and fancy each other after that. O2 has opened Swim for Sims, the world's first swim-up mobile phone shop at Casa del Lago, Menorca to help holidaymakers switch contracts and save on data roaming fees whilst abroad this summer. Former Love Islander Chloe Burrows will be on hand to help visitors roam freely, thanks to O2. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebsatmirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29